So this word means to hold up high. Can you read it for me? Hi. Uh, so it is kakake kakageru. Hi, kakageru. This is a ru verb. So kakageru, kaka other things. Um what is the top form of to hold up high? The top form of hold up high is kakageta. Perfect. Can you read the sentence for me? Um sentence is Neburi ga wadoseki o matsu te o takaku kakageta. So, um, here say that neburi, he holds the magical stones. Is he talking about his magical stone that he's holding? Like what? What is the uh, O that is attached oh, to Kakageru? Kakageru, Kakageru, we say was, what is it again, Moni? I... That is to hold up. To hold up. You were so correct he... with that. My point is, what O is attached to Kakageru? We have two O's in the sentence. Um, The the tail. Hi, so he holds up what? He holds up the hands. Hi that possesses that holds the stone so the stone the hand with the stone basically Hi. um he held it up high takaku Perfect. can you read this word for me mm. terasu perfect and this to is shine. Of course, yeah so now your job is to remember that this is terasu i personally really like this kanji because these three lights here always like reminds me of like those light things when you see on those like airplanes and stuff where they're like, there's a light here and it has like the three dots. So I always see that go like, hey, easy to remember. So, te. can you read the sentence for me? Um, it's a higa, hikari ga, uh, and then mon o. What is it again, Mari? Ah, ma, ah, arashita. Tera, terashita. So the light shine at the door, at the gate. Hi. So you see how that's a little bit different than hikari, right? To, or akari, like that, which means like the light makes light. This is more like illuminating something. So you can see the gate now because the light is casting light onto the gate. Um, what is the passive form of to illuminate? The passive form tera tera sa reta. Hi, correct. Specifically would be ru, but ta is a correct conjugation of that. Sareru. Um, can you read this word for me? Sabiru. Hi, sabiru is to rust, right? To, like a creaky door is sabitad. What is the te form of sabiru? Te form is um sabiru. Te form sabite. Let's only know no glottal stop sabite. Sabite sabite. Right. And what does it mean? To rust. Perfect. Sabi to rust. Can you read the sentence for me? Mm, tera sareta uh, mon wa sabite iru. Right. Mani, the tera sareta, this sareta is from sareru. Right. We so, have passive the, right here. The passive. So the door that was shine on. Hi. Uh, it rusts. Hi. It and is... how is mon different than doa? A gate. So so. It is rusty. Rusty. Sabite iru is rusting or is in the state of rust. In the state of rust. Um, do you know how to read this word? Me. 
nagate. So Ita. it's not nagai. So we do have the nagai kanji right here. This means to stick plus to see. So this word means watching. Uh, hi, hite. Good guess. Ita. It is ha. Hatte ita. Mi hatte ita. Mi, mi haru. Do you know what a kumo is? A kumo is a... What is a kumo? Um, kumo is a spider. A kumo is a spider. Kumo. Right. So a lot of times, um, animal names will be written in katakana. Um, there is theoretically kanji for this. Kumo. Right. Which is not that kanji. That's cloud. Kumo. Here it is. This is the kanji for spider. But kumo. you will very commonly see it just in katakana. Right. Any idea to read this word? Just saw it in a word that meant guard. Hi, it's a haru. Hi, haru. Perfect. And haru is a u verb, not a naisi. And we say um, it to stick, right, Moni? To, to it stick. is to stick. Hi. Stick. To be attached. Haru. What is the te form of haru? Hatte. Perfect. So su is a word that means like nest, basically. But it might refer to more things in Japanese than the word nest necessarily refers in English. Like it could also possibly mean web. Hi. So what's this kanji read as? Su. Perfect. Can you read the sentence, this word for me? Komonosu. What do you think this means? Okumonosu. Okumonosu. Web of spider or spider web. Yep. Perfect. Can you read the sentence for me? Sabite iru mon ni wa kumonosu ga hatte iru. So the spider webs stick on the gate. That is rusty. Perfect. This word means to flicker. How do you read it? You rameku. Perfect. You rameku. This you a lot of times can also mean rock, but you rameku is to flicker. But I'm saying this kanji shows up like you for rocking and things. Can you read this word for me? Kokori. Kokori means dust. Kokori. Nice. Very common word in this book. What is the te form of yurameku? Yurameku. Yurameku. Yurame. Ite. Ite. Hi. Yurame ite. What does yurameku mean? Yurameku is to flicker. Hi, to flicker. Perfect. Do you remember how to read this kanji? Terashite. Perfect. Let's go read. Wait. Um. One second. I see a spelling kanji error. Hey. Okay. Let's go read this sentence. Aoi hikari wa yurameite sapite iru. Mon o Terra Siteru. The light or the blue flame or the blue light that flicker. No, no, no. The blue light flickers and Sabite iru mon o Terra Siteru. The light. It shines on the door that was rusty. Hi, can you read this word for me? Mamireru. Hi, this is um to be speared, smeared. And it is a do verb, mamireru. We saw Mami. like this word in similar things, like um nudu, 
which is the same kanji. This is used to mean to paint. Nuru. Mamireru. So Mamireru. same kanji, different pronunciation. So this is the no object version of passive guide, transitive and transitive. To be smeared. Mamireru. What is the te form of to be smeared? Te form. Mamite. Mamirete. Hi, mamirete. What did hokori mean? We saw this earlier. Thus. Perfect. And how about the stem form of this word? Um, stem form. Mamire. Ri. Mamire. Ri. Good guess. It's just mamire. D would be a U verb. And what does mamire mean? Um. Mamire. Mamireru. To be smear. Hi. So that can these two words can be combined together in a new compound word of hokori mamire, which would be a noun. What does this noun mean? Hokori mamire. Dust smear. Exactly. Dusty. Exactly. To be dusty. Um if you wanted to put this noun into te form, what would we do? We saw an example of this earlier. Te form. Mm -hmm. Now we put the de at the end. Exactly. You just put de there. Perfect. Do you know what achikoti means? Here and there. Perfect. Or there and here. <laughs> there and here. Funny how the order is different in English and Japanese. Um... Let's go read the sentence from the book. Hi. Uh, Yurameku. Flickering. Aoi hikari ni. The flames. The blue flames. Uh, tera sareta mon wa. The gate that will shine on. Sabite ite. It's rusty. Hokori ma mi re de. Dusty. Achi kochi ni. There and here. Kumo no suga hate iru. Perfect. Spider so, web. what is our subject of this sentence? To the subject here is the gate. Hi. The what do we know about this gate? The gate was shine on, shine upon by the light that was blue and flickering. Perfect. And what other information do we have about this gate? This gate is described as being rusty, dusty, and here and there attached with spider web exactly and you kind of see how there is a link between these ideas it's all the idea behind is that this gate is old and abandoned right it has dust it's rusted and it has spider webs on it so they're all kind of connected together through the same kind of logic idea going on and we're all talking about the same thing so you can see how like cause and effect can be a little bit weird with te form because it's not actually saying the rust causes it to be dusty or dustiness causes there to be spiders but there is like a connection here between these ideas right it's rusted because no one's opened it in a while it is dusty because no one's opened it in a while and there's spider webs on it because of course no one's opened it in a while hey. um do you know what kuchimoto means Lips. Close. Well, yes, it does mean lips, but kind of doesn't. So, kuchibiru is the word you'd use if you want to actually refer to someone's lips. But your kuchimoto would be referring to your lips, and that is, is the location where your mouth is, <laughs> which is uh, your lips. But moto here means close by. Or specifically, it means origin. 
the origin area of your lips, kuchimoto. But it's used to mean next to. So in this sentence, right. it says, so they, I, I understand. It's not lips per se, but it's just basically the, like the idea of the area with the, if you were to wear a mask, that's where it yes, would go. Exactly. Yep. So in this sentence, it says, napkin de kuchimoto nugutta, which means to wipe your face, basically, around your mouth with a napkin, right. which, would, of course, would include your lips. Koru is a u-verb, which right. means to carve. Koru. To carve. How do you read this kanji? Koru. Perfect. What do you think is the te form of koru? Kote. Kote. Hai. Like, what will stop. Any idea what this word might mean and how to read it? Ashimoto. The footstep. Basically, it is used to refer to footsteps. That's correct. But it's literally saying um, where your feet, like near where your feet are. So a lot of times you might hear Ashimoto kiyotsukete, which means be careful where you put your feet down. Mm. It's telling you the area where your feet is. That's what it's referring to. So if you want to talk about footsteps, like the sound, you would say ashi oto, right? For the right. sound of your feet. But the sound of your feet does come from the location of your ashi moto. Right. But moto is the origin of your feet, but they're meaning the area around where your feet is. Right. The footings, your footing. Watch your footings. Your Watch where you put your foot. So, so. So, in this context, we probably wouldn't translate it that way, but place of where your feet is. Um, let's go read the sentence. Ishi ni naka nanika. Nanika o hotte iru. Me shi. Me shi. I have a hard time with the pronunciation money. Meshukai. 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 No ashimoto ni hono kino yuka ga aru. What's our sentence here? The sentence is. I mean, what, what's our subject? Yes. <laughs> there is a floor. Hi. What kind of floor? floor? Hi, hi, hi. In the wooden floor is is where I my foot is. Whose foot? The uh, servants. Hi, hi, hi. Meshi what is the servant Shikai doing? The servant is Hoteiru. He carving something into the rock. Perfect. Nice. Um so here we have atta here, which it's been a little bit, I forgot to give you a refresher here, but this is very similar to passive form. But remember, it means you don't give a F about who the heck did it. Um, let's go read the sentence. It, we, it exists and we don't, we're not concerned with who it, who caused it to exist. Yes. Right. So it's ashimoto no ishi ni nani ka so some some the rock where I stand something was carved into it. Exactly. Yep. Something was carved into the rock next to my feet. Or next to my feet. Or in the areas of my feet. Hi. And as a random refresher, the main character is not wearing shoes, um, which I think is needed for the next sentence. Do you know what moji, moji. means? What do you mean a character? Yeah, letters, characters, exactly. Letters. Ends with G. What did it start with? Mo. Perfect. Can you read Mo. the sentence for me? Ona koushaku ga run moji o Hota ishi no yuka wa nureta. Moni, what is nureta? One that is time. to be wet. 
to be wet. Nureta. So the the stone floor, the yuka, right? The ishi no yuka. Yep. Is wet. It's nureta. Hi. And this ishi is was carved with a, a rune script. Hi. A rune script. And the person who did it was Onna Koshaku, the Duchess. Perfect. Nice. Um, nazoru, which is a U verb, means to follow. This tends to be used like to follow with your finger or to follow with your eyes, less so than like following like a ninja behind somebody. Nazoru. Nazoru, to follow. Hi, but mostly with your finger or with your eyes. Um, mostly with your eyes. Nazota. Perfect. Um, this word starts with mo. What did it end with? Ji. Perfect. So let's go read the sentence. Dorobo wa te saki de mochi o nasotta. The thief, with the tip of his fingers, he traces the script. Perfect. So kicking that. Um, tesaki, tumasaki is your um toes, but apparently it can also refer to the tips of your shoe, which is interesting. I, that's that's why my reason why I had this. Thing. <laughs> so I thought, oh, that's interesting. It doesn't have to be your toes; it could be the tip of your sock or your shoe as well. In this context, the main character is barefoot, so it is referring to his actual toes. So tips of your claws, because tuma is a claw but it means toes in this context. Right. So it ends with Saki. What did it start with? What's Saki? I forgot, Mani. Uh, tuma. 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 Tuma Saki. Hi. And let's go read the sentence. Tuma Saki de Nureta. The Nureta is wet. Hi. Yuka o Nazote mita Run mochida. So two sentences. The first sentence said that the subject is assumed to be the speaker. Hi. He he traces the finger. He's not so mita in order to to see. He the mita here just means he he's he he's trying to do it right. Man? Hi. He just, yep. He tries to trace what. He he tried to see. Um, he, he traces the floor, the yuka that was wet. Hi. Using how does he of his toes, is of his Perfect. feet. And when he did that, he realized that it was rune. Mm -hmm. Mochida. He's he's thinking to himself, it's a rune script. Yes. Perfect. Um. Do you remember how to read this verb? It's te. Tera sareta. Perfect. How about this word? Mm, this is su, as in Perfect. wet. Nice one. This is ha, as in hatte iru. Perfect. And last one on this page? This is ho, as in hotte. And this and is actually, mean to carve. Yeah. And I think I'm going to make you do this one as well. This is sume, and mm -mm. sume saki. Tsuma. 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 I do get what that confusion comes from because tume is claw. So you'd think it'd be tume saki, but it's actually pronounced as tuma saki. Hi, because it 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 blur with the ah uh, sound from the saki, I'm thinking. I am I have no idea. Uh, it's just being confusing. Hi, tuma saki. Uh, it's probably to make it more obvious we're talking about toes rather than the claws of something. Hi, that makes sense. Um, do you know what a jumon is? A jumon is like a spell. Perfect. So it ends with mon. What does it start with? Ju. Hi. Can you read this sentence for me? Ma jutsu shi wa jumon o. Uh, he what? What did he do? He yu subayaita. Hi, from Subayaita. Subayaku is he he mumbles? Hi. Perfect. What did he mumble? 
he mumbled the spell. Hi. Perfect. The magician mumbled the spell. Hi. So, uh, to would be used with a direct quote. So you could use to, but o is here because being more generic. Hi. Um, do you know how to read this word? Onaji. Perfect. Which means same. Um, this word starts with ju. What does it end with? Mo. Perfect. So now here's your last sentence of the day. Neburi ga nani ka subayaita. Neburi, he mumbles something. Right. Subayaita no to. Onaji. Chumonda. So this to is here because this no is pronoun no. So that which he mumbles Hi. is the same as a spell. Hi. Specifically, they're probably referring to the spell he mumbled earlier today when he opened the gate we saw um, last time. This is the second gate that he's had to cast a magical spell at. Hi. That yeah. which he mumbles is the same as a spell. Hi. Nobody mumble something. It is a spell same as what he mumbled. The thing that he mumbles was the same as that spell, basically. The thing that he mumbled is the same as that spell. It's a little hard to say. But yeah, that is where we're going to stop for the day.